lots of shops here. Yeah. What, they must be like two, three, four hundred there. Can't believe it, I've never seen anything like this. Being a vast group of dolphins, um, most probably common. They're moving quickly to the north of the river now. Start heading in that direction as soon as you can. It looks like you're going to have some protection in this area. I grew up in a Manzum Toti and I went to school there. And often when the sardine run was happening, um, I bunked school to go along and watch what was going on. We saw sardines washed up on the beach. We saw the seinetters pulling the sardines in, the fishermen catching these awesome fish. So when I got into filmmaking around 1990, I decided I would like to document the sardine run and show people what it's all about. I was never really successful at capturing what goes on underwater. So I was in a discussion with some scientists, Dr. Vic Pedimores and some good friends, Mark Addison, and we decided to go down into the wild coast to find out what happens there because there, the thin band of water that the sardines migrate up in is very narrow. So the action is concentrated. So we launched out of Mkambati and um, we had an aeroplane in the air finding the action for us and we realized what this was all about. We found all kinds of predators making bait balls, birds diving in, uh, sharks, dolphins, game fish, everything preying on the sardines. So we realized what needed to be done. So the next year we got a good friend of mine, Rob Allen, who had a microlight, and we put him in the air because he knew exactly what to look for. We had developed a whole lot of special cameras to capture the activity underwater. And we really went about filming the sardine run, and we got amazing stuff. We made a promo, which we sent out to different broadcasters, which got the cat amongst the pigeons, and the next thing we knew, the BBC were there, Everybody was there um, trying to film the sardine run. But we put out our first film in the year 2000. It was called The Greatest Shoal on Earth. Since then, we've made another three films. We believe there's probably a lot more films that can be made on the subject. We've always tried to stay ahead of the curve as far as understanding what's going on and how to film it with the latest technology and I think we've, we've probably put together the greatest library on this event that exists in the world. Through frame at once. Let's go, let's go get up water of them again. 